This paper presents a new method for generating contacts between unstructured meshes in rigid body simulation. The method produces stable contact estimates and exhibits fewer collision artifacts than existing techniques. In this example, a simulated Boston Dynamics Atlas robot holds a pose on a fractal terrain. Using GIMPACT, the built-in collision generator to the Open Dynamics Engine and Bullet Physics libraries, collision artifacts cause phantom impacts that eventually cause the robot to fall. The new method, shown on the left, remains stable. Poor contact handling can cause catastrophic divergence. Here, this stack of meshed cubes blows up almost instantaneously using GIMPACT. In contrast, the new method can simulate large stacks for minutes without perceptible jitter. This example shows the new method simulating a finely meshed gripper picking up a coarsely meshed box. Using GIMPACT, the small triangles of the gripper pass through the box, leading to incorrect simulation. The method easily accommodates non-watertight models, eliminating a laborious cleaning step before simulation. In fact, models can even come directly from 3D sensor data. Here an environment is captured using a Microsoft Kinect sensor, it contains noise and holes due to occlusion. A sitting motion for this Hubo robot involving repeated changes of contact can be simulated stably. Note that this model does not contain the bottom of the chair or the bottom of the armrests. This second example demonstrates an even larger step ladder model with over 1 million triangles. The model does not contain bottoms of the steps and the backs of the rails. This entire motion was simulated in about 15 minutes on a laptop PC, with computation dominated by the simulation engine itself, rather than the contact generator. Here, a robot stirs a pile of coffee mugs sensed by a stereo vision system. The mugs are sensed only on one side, and yet the simulator has no trouble preventing interpenetration. Not only is simulation useful for simulating robot behaviors, but it is also useful for designing robot hardware. In order to upgrade the Hubo humanoid to climb ladders, the simulator was used to determine the level of grip strength needed to keep the robot from falling. These recommendations have been implemented and successfully tested on the physical robot. This method is available as open source software at the website of the Indiana University Intelligent Motion Lab.